Yeah, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. They say the world is losing its color and just getting grayer, but those of you who think that just have not been to the Crayola experience before. One star, do not come here with kids that like to color unless prepared to pay the entry fee. They no longer have a place to color in the gift shop. My three-year-old who just wanted to color was dejected. They used to have a place where you could color, is now it is behind a paywall. I'm going to be honest, I don't really know why they would have that in the gift shop to begin with. It's a nice idea, but I feel like it probably got very overcrowded very quickly and nobody would be paying to go into the Crayola experience if they could just get it all for free in the gift shop. Eric said that his three-year-old loves the ball machine with a picture of the ball machine doing not what it's supposed to do. Then you have other people complaining it was busy during spring break, go figure. But is the Crayola experience truly worth the one star reviews that I am seeing. It has a whopping 3.7 overall stars on Yelp and 4.3 on Google. But the general consensus in the lower reviews seems to be that it's overcrowded during holiday weekends, weekends in general, and people don't seem to like that as an adult, they have to pay to go to the Crayola experience with their kid. So I decided as a grown adult, I wanted to go and check out Crayola Experience to see if those one star reviews that I was seeing were actually correct. So I went in as a grown adult on a hot Monday afternoon during summer break and I took my mum and my brother who is 14 years younger than me so I wouldn't look like a grown adult going to the Crayola Experience on a Monday afternoon during summer break. I wouldn't want to look like a weirdo or anything going there with a camera. Upon entry, I was expecting it to be 100 degrees which it was not. It was very cool. In fact, so cool that at the end of the trip, my mum who has Reynard syndrome told me her fingers had gone white because she had gotten cold by the end of it. So if you want good AC, it is not standard for it to be very hot in there like some of the reviews were saying. So I bought my ticket online in advance because it's always the cheapest way to do it. It was $26.99, which is about the cost of a McDonald's meal these days. Once inside, they handed me a clear bag with the Crayola experience on it, two small tokens and a voucher for a free scrubble, scrubby, scrubble, scrubby scrubble. You then go upstairs to be greeted by a wall that tells you all about the history of Crayola, where they started from as Binny and Smith to today. This is where you get to use one of your two tokens to get a crayon with your name on it. We got a little token for coming in with our admission and I think this is where you can pick a crayon. So this is carnation pink. There's like a ton of like unwrapped crayons here, which is really cool. And this, this is the station where you actually wrap it on there, so I'm really excited to do that. These are all like the pinks and the purples. This is the orange and reds. I'm gonna go for the green one. Here's my little label and my crayon. So we're gonna go over to the little machines over there and apply it. Now I did seem to be incapable of doing this for some reason. Okay, place the crayon in the red slot, which is there. Wait, it's not red. Is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be red. I think it's rubbed off. Peel label and place in blue slot. Okay. And then slide handle. Uh-oh. Wait, what did I do? Was I not supposed to? But a very nice man came over and helped us and I got my beautiful blue crayon, which only cost me $26. Unfortunately, I did miss the meet and greet with the yellow crayon, which was a shame. After that though, I did find the world's biggest crayon, which was hard to miss anyway, because it was 1500 pounds and 15 feet long. The world's biggest crayon right here. That is, oh my gosh, it's 1500 pounds, beautiful. That is unreal. It's like a real actual crayon too. It's massive. It's 15 feet. It's born in 2017. It's massive. But this was cool. Let me tell you, this was a piece of history. I was very excited to see this. It was also really fun. They had little vending machines throughout that you could use your other token for. So here they have a vending machine of modeling clay. I can't say I've ever seen that before. So here you can use a token to get a little pack of crayons. We were given two tokens. Like they only give you two tokens, but you can use it on like free modeling clay, or you can get like one of the little pipsqueak markers, or you can get a little set of crayons. I just thought it was a nice touch. I mean, there's not, you don't get a lot for the tokens they give you, but it's just, it's kind of a cool experience. Okay, so we got our second token. I'm gonna use on the model magic. I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get the lavender, I think. I literally feel like a child again. 
So they have stations here where you can sit down and use all of the little tools and things to use your model magic. I'm not going to do that because I'm not really the age group to do that. Hi, if you're watching this and you have kids, then most likely you are extremely tired. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Beam. I don't have kids, yet I'm always extremely tired. A lot of that is related to the fact I have really high cortisol, so I wake up tired and then I go to bed and I'm not tired enough to sleep, so I just toss and turn. But I have a secret. I have slightly too many of them. It's literally the best sleep of my life with this stuff. I just got married recently and I actually brought it with me and took it the night before my wedding because I knew that it would allow me to actually sleep all the way through and not wake up drowsy. So Beam is a guilt-free luxurious drink blend filled with the highest quality sleep-promoting ingredients like melatonin, magnesium, apigenin, and L-theanin. I always have so much more energy on the days where I have taken the Beam Dream Powder. There's two versions the Founders Blend, which I have, and the Blend with Nano Hem. It's clinically shown to help 93% of people get a more restful night's sleep and wake up feeling more refreshed. And a serving of Dream costs less than a cup of coffee. My favourite flavour is the brownie batter. And obviously, when you get better sleep, you get better immunity, better focus, and less stress. Plus, since it's summer, you can even add ice or cold milk to make it a cold drink versus hot. Or you can take their capsules, which contain the same ingredient in CBD and non-CBD form, which is also a great option for travel. Plus, if you do love it as much as I do, you can also get a subscription to Beam and save 20% every month. You get a free frother with your first order, you can swap your flavours and pause or cancel at any time, plus a ton of more options. One scoop of Beam Dream is clinically shown to help you fall asleep faster, sleep through the night and wake up refreshed. Click the link below or scan the QR code on the screen. Use the code Chloe Rose to get up to 35% off with my exclusive discount. Oh, you can even get markers with your, with your tokens. So they have a little like vending machine for the pipsqueak markers too. Okay, so they even have a little coloring station here with crayons that actually don't look disgusting. They all look really good. Some of the reviews were saying that the crayons are kind of nasty and it's really messy in here, but honestly, it's pretty clean, I would say. Pull out literally any of these. Oh, that one's cute. You know what I really like too? It's not just made really, really simple. They kind of have, even like, this is more, you know, older kids, even like adult coloring books have this type of style in. So you could really have any age group in here. Though I wouldn't recommend as an adult, you sit here and use the crayons. <laughs> well, I'd be cheeky if I take two. And honestly, I probably would have bought more tokens, but I did not see anywhere that I could do that. It was maybe an option, but again, there was no like information that they gave you. I probably could have asked one of the teenagers at like the snack area that were just like all laughing and talking with each other. But the only negative that I felt immediately was just that it did feel a little, little bit disorganized because I didn't really know what to do. Currently trying to find a leaflet that tells us what's included because some things are included, some things aren't. We're trying to figure out what is actually included and if I need to go find tokens from somewhere. Now, one of the complaints I saw on the like lower star reviews was that you had to pay for pretty much everything. They're a big fat liar. That was not true. There was like three things that you could pay for, which were all things that you really didn't need to do. It was just like an additional like, oh, you want a wax sculpture of your hand? That's like $10. You want to make sand art? Pay an additional fee. None of it's exactly Crayola themed, so it's not something you're like, I have to do it. Okay, so it looks like only these things are add-ons. So pretty much everything else we've seen so far is not an add-on. Okay, so everything is included with the exception of the wax hand sand art here. Okay, so literally, I think these are the only things that are add-ons. I think everything else is basically basically included. They even have a little cafe at the back. So you got this, you can use it with markers and things. And there is a station over there to do it, but I'm not, again, gonna sit at the table and color this in. <laughs> and it was all over when I saw a claw machine. It's $2 a go though. Oh. I'll try the purple one. Is. That's so crap. It's gonna fall. Wait. Look at this. Whoa, Look how cute he is. His, his foot's on the wrong way. <laughs> his foot's the, his feet are upside down. <laughs> no, seriously, his foot's been sewn on upside down. Go get the past now. I'm gonna walk around all smugly now because I have a Crayola bear and the other kids don't. <laughs> okay, so they have this section called Scribble, Scribble, why can't I say that? Scribble Square. And you can basically come in here and draw all over the walls, all over these things. There's kids drawing on these things. They're actually made to be drawn on. 
I'm not sure if I had kids if I'd actually want them to be doing that because I feel like they'd go home and want to be drawing on the walls. My mum's roasting me. She just said, oh yeah, they'd get home and do it like I do, drawing on the walls. <laughs> Let's go do some drip art now. I didn't realise this was included, but it is. So we're going to go check it out. Um, I'll do pink and green. Oh, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. So we got to pick two crayons. We've come to the station. Insert crayon. Oh, he wants to fall over. Never mind. Oh, like that? No, that one doesn't fit. Oh. Oh, uh-oh. Wait, that's so cool. So it's dripping the crayon. So use this to slow. And make it faster. Is that it? Okay, I think that's it. Okay. Oh, wow, that looks gross. That looks so nasty, but also really cool at the same time. Okay, let's put in the other color. So you slot it in. I am, in. I am having a really good time. This is so freaking fun. I feel like I picked the two worst colors to go together though. This is gonna be so gross. Why did I pick pink and green? Oh, yours looks really cool. Okay. Oh, look at our really gross little flower crayon thing. Isn't that cool? I love it, that is adorable. Yours looks so cool. You picked, what is it, turquoise and green? Yeah. That looks awesome. Thank you, sir. One person said they had to wait 45 minutes for the spin art machine, which in my personal case was not an issue. Like it was not crowded, not busy. I did go again on a Monday afternoon, but for me, we didn't we didn't really have to wait for anything, which was very nice. Spin art was actually really fun. They let you take two crayons of different colors or the same color if you wanted, and you stick it in the machine and you just like let it spin. It's not practical at all. It won't last more than five minutes at home if you even get it home without it crumbling. But it is a really fun activity. It was really cool to do. I would have loved it as a kid. Next up, we had the station where you could do wax melting. So this is where you could pick a figurine to melt your crayon into. So I, being me, I've always loved cars of all kinds. So I picked the cars station. Okay, so I picked the car. I put it in here. All right, it's gonna mold a car. Maybe it's starting. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's happening at the moment. Did it take a while to start? We got one crayon, got to our little station, and it it took a while. It was a bit slow. I think the only complaint I would have is that the machines just like they're a bit slow. You don't really know what to do. They're not overly self-explanatory. So one of the biggest complaints people had was the fact that these molds it brought a different colour out first. I really don't care, but I think mine's broken. I think it's broke. Now it's doing something. I think. No, it's not. Now it's coming out. It's working. Yeah. You've got an orange green. I don't know where the off. orange came from. <laughs> it literally looks like Lightning McQueen because it has yellow yes, in it. Cool. That's so cool. And the staff are very much hands on in helping you figure out what to do if you're there looking like you don't know what you're doing. The machines could definitely do with an upgrade, I will say. The screens, the graphics, everything was very like early 2000s feeling. Unless they're an iPad kid from the womb, I don't think kids are gonna realize that the graphics are old. Next we went to Cartoon Creator, which was my personal favorite. I really liked this. Okay, so next up I'm gonna check out the Cartoon Creator because it makes a picture of your face, actually draws your face, which is cool. It takes pictures of your face and then draws your face with the Crayola bot. This, I, I mean, honestly, I love this so much. That's flattering then. <laughs> I personally thought it was a great thing to do. To and it was very fast as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love it. So funny. It's actually really clever. It's better than I thought it was gonna be. We look alike. <laughs> There was also a station where you could use their special colors of the world. Do they have ghostly pale? Uh, one of these, maybe light almond, kind of, or maybe that one. My mum bought me a churro, which was probably a solid three and a half out of five churro. I won't lie, it was very tasty. My daughter's crayon got mixed with a color that she hadn't chosen because the mold had leftover wax in it. I mean, yes, we have that same experience to be fair, but like, I feel like if you're worried about your crayon mold having a different color in it, maybe change your priorities a little bit. I think really my only negative experience so far has been that the cafe is closed at 4.30 and it doesn't close here till 8 p.m. I think it's fun, like I'm not gonna lie. I think it's been really, really fun here. I think if I had an aid of a toddler to bring, it would literally just like make my heart melt seeing them here because I'm seeing kids really enjoy themselves and it's nice to see them off a screen 
and just playing like kids are supposed to do. Because I'm not a parent yet, but my mum is here. As a parent who's had three kids for $27 a ticket, what do you think of it so far? Do you think it's a good price? Do you think it should be a bit less? No, I think it's good value for money because of the activities that they provide. Um, I mean, you can stay here all day. I mean, yeah. the play skate there for the kids as well. Yeah, there's a lot of playscapes I haven't shown because there's obviously a lot of kids around. I don't want to be filming people's kids, but there are a lot of playscapes around as well as the activity centres. Yeah, they can burn a lot of energy on a really hot day. Yeah, that's true. Know, so it's all cool in here. I think like 11 and under of my age, when I was like 11 and under that, I think I would have loved it especially. Because like you said, there's things for little kids to do, but also there's things for older kids to do as well. So really, my only other complaint would be that the staff were not the friendliest in the world. Some They were helpful, don't get me wrong. They weren't like the most friendly people in the world. I think you need a certain kind of personality or like patience to work somewhere like that. But I mean, I guess if you're smelling crayons all day and listening to kids scream, I mean... So again, there was a lot of activity stations. Some people said there was not much to do. Again, that is a lie. There was, there was a lot to do. I... I personally would have loved it. Another thing too is you don't have a wristband or anything so they have no way of being like oh you've done this experience once so you can't do it again. You could go around and do the spin art as many times as you want with as many colours as you want. Yeah they have these little stations where you use your crayon over the template. These are just some of the stations that you have. So they have activity studio where each table has like an activity you can do and they have the activity the stuff you need for the activity. paint and create binoculars so you have this activity as well they have coloring pages literally everywhere as well which is nice so you can just grab as many as you want and they have these play places for kids too which is something i would have absolutely loved i would imagine again if it was crowded and busy it would be a very unenjoyable experience because i feel like anywhere you're rammed in with a ton of people and kids it's going to be horrible i think some of the reviews were a little bit unfair there was a lot of comments of people complaining that they had to pay the adult ticket price because there's no activities for the adults to do and honestly i saw the parents just as much enjoying themselves including themselves in the activities as the kids i don't really know what crayola could do differently because on one hand people are saying it's too busy on the other hand people are saying they don't like they have to pay but if the adults are free there's going to be more adults in there and therefore more crowds but it might be a good way to have like a system of wristbands so if you want to participate you have a wristband to show if you don't want to participate you don't have a wristband i am kind of torn with this because i feel like my parents whenever they take us anywhere would always have to pay like a ticket for themselves to go in it's almost like saying i'm going to disney as a person who's not going to be able to go on any of the rides why should i have to pay for a ticket like it's your choice whether or not you go in and whether or not you're gonna participate in the rides or not you know does that make sense you're not gonna go to six flags and be like i don't want i don't like roller coasters i'm just gonna watch my kids go on the roller coasters you're not gonna get in for free you know then they have this wall over here which shows you some of their products they've released over the years it's really cool because it has about the history as well one giant crayon i want one of those can we buy those I really want one. They do have snack sections as well, which obviously you have to pay for. I have toddler town behind me. I just don't want to visibly show it because there's obviously toddlers over there. I feel like if you're gonna come here, you wanna come on a weekday because it's not bad at all. They also have a little theater in here too, which is really cute. Lastly, we went to the gift shop, which surprisingly was not as overpriced as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a little bit like, I'm gonna head downstairs and go to the gift shop, see if there's any goodies I can buy because I kind of want some Crayola merch now. <gasps> I want this. I really want one of these. I feel like $35 is not bad, especially considering how much Disney, for example, would charge. That would be like $60 at Disney. Oh, oh look at these. What is this? <gasps> that is so cool. Oh my gosh, it's a crayon shelf. What the heck? Round storage box. This is what I got for my little cousin. One of these. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. It's a Crayola basketball, that's so awesome. They have a wall of markers. Oh my gosh, this is like so satisfying to look at. Oh my gosh. This is an, oh, look at these crayons. I wanna just buy all of these. I just wanna buy a big pack of them. <laughs> Oh 
Oh, this is, I love how vintage this is. Choose a tin, fill it up. You can literally buy these, you can buy them. But it's, it's like a limited, it's a special edition. So I kind of want to. Mummy, can you film me filling up a tin with crayons, please? <laughs> Oh, it has the years on it. Cool. I didn't know that. If me and Ray ever did a collab channel. Worse. All right, I have filled up this tin with Crayola crayons. I feel like everything's been a good price in here, but this is a definite rip off for these. I honestly think overall, I would give this a four out of five rating. I would have loved this probably 11 and under. I would, this would have been like my favorite place to go to have fun. My mum, who has had three kids thinks that the age group of like three to six in particular would extra, extra love it. There was a lot to do. And I think Crayola probably relies on people buying their annual pass, which if you do go a lot, easily pays for itself. It's a great place, like my mum said, for them to burn off energy. I understand the reviews saying if it's overcrowded, it's horrible. I get that. I think anything is horrible if it's overcrowded. I think if I had to spend 45 minutes to wait for crusty spin art, I would have also been upset. But if you go on a holiday weekend, I don't really know what you're expecting. Clearly, it's not aimed at adults here. But overall, I thought it was a good deal. I honestly did think it was a good deal. You got some stuff included. It was $26. I don't think that's really that expensive considering what things cost these days and how much there is to do. I think as a family of like, three or four, that's when it does get a little bit pricey. So let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on the Crayola experience and if there's anywhere similar you would like me to try out and go next time. And I did in fact get an extra ticket because I spent more than $50 in the gift shop at the end. So I got a free ticket. So if you are in that area or you're visiting that area at any point within the next 120 days, leave a comment down below telling me so and I'm going to pick a random person and I'm going to mail you the ticket. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if there's somewhere similar like this you'd like me to try out next time, or maybe I should go to a different location. There is a newer location that just opened up, I believe, somewhere else. So we could always try that one next time. So yeah, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.